Oh wow, <laughs> good afternoon everybody. Welcome to this afternoon's creative conversation. We are ch chatting with Jolie um, Gasa. Um, we're just waiting for her to log on as we always know. It's always such a awkward moment when you are starting the lives. But I'm super excited this Friday. We've been trying to get this done with her all week. Um, well, not all week, it's since yesterday, but <laughs> it feels like oh, we lived a whole week yesterday because we were having technical, technical difficulties and you name it. Hi, Nomsa. Hi, Sipo. How is, how is everybody doing this Friday? Um, we're just waiting for our beautiful guest, Jolie, to join us. We're talking all things in the visual arts. Um, I'm super excited because she's such an out, out of the box kind of artist. Um, so how's everybody's weekend? This <laughs> almost feels like I'm asking people's weekend, weekend plans. Hi, Chatty. And we wait her to log in yeah hello finally. <laughs> so how are you doing this <laughs> oh well you. you would not come to me who is has been doing this for some time but still feels slightly nervous and nerve-wracked um but i'm super excited that we are finally live together um Yo. <laughs> so you do a small nyana intro Tell people about yourself, the kind of work that you're doing, and yeah, smaller nyan, <laughs> two liner. Uh, my name is Jolie Grasa. Hi guys, my name is Jolie Grasa. I am an artist, mm -hmm. and I, I grew up in jo Joburg, basically. And mm -hmm. yeah, I studied art at UJ. Um, I mm -hmm. have an honors degree in art, and I am currently an art teacher at Artist Proof Studio. Oh, that's so cool! That's such a cool. <laughs> Nice, well-rounded intro. So, Thank growing you. up in Joburg, how did it inspire you to get into the art space? Um, I feel like Joburg is so full of artists. Like, everywhere you go, if it's not acting, it's dancing. If it's not dancing, it's fashion. Everyone is so loud and proud about their work. You cannot not notice, you know, mm -hmm. and, like, be inspired by that and... When, when going to shows or before or lockdown <laughs> when going to and still now like online when you're seeing things and seeing shows and just being inspired to do to be unique in your own self because everyone else seems so comfortable in their own skin mm -hmm. um to try find your own voice i think is important so yeah i think yeah so what voice would you say you have in the art space because I love what you're saying about finding your own voice. So what voice would you say you have? It took some time. I think I'm still discovering my voice, um, <laughs> my kind of style of work. Um, I think it started like end of second year when I really liked collage and like using references that I put together in order to make the work happen. Um, and yeah, it's it's been progressing from there but i don't think there's a specific i don't know you know like <laughs> i enjoy just collaging things and making it look in like like one and making it look like a headdress for women basically yes so, so yeah. the subject is really you speaking into women you're speaking to um yes like uh women women as queens uh specifically because of like how a society views women, I guess, especially black women and like mm -hmm. how far we've come to get to this place and mm -hmm. just to celebrate us. And even if my artwork specifically is speaking about maybe a, a pain I've been experiencing, trying to find beauty in that pain, I think. Wow, yeah. that sounds so powerful. So would you say that your family was always supportive on your journey to be an uh, artist or to even be in the creative space? Well, they they never said no. <laughs> they never said no. I mean, they would direct me like, oh, but like, 
you know, psychology or something, you know, something with books. Like, do something mm -hmm. <laughs> with books, even though art has books, guys. Uh, but no, I, I do think they were supportive. I, I, start, I started young drawing and I've always been in a creative mm -hmm. light, keeping myself busy by beads or cooking or drawing. So I think, yeah, I could say they were supportive. So what were some of your um, childhood dreams? If you were not an artist, what were some of your, if it was not art, what were some of your childhood dreams? I, I personally thought I was going to be a pastry chef or a jewelry designer. Like that was, that was the aim. It was that or the other. <laughs> so, yeah. So you always were like into the creative stuff because I mean, pastry chef requires creativity. Being a jewelry designer requires creativity. So yeah. what are some of the challenges that you face as a female artist? Hmm. Specifically as a female artist or just like the challenges I face? In, so you in could do art. both, actually. Just you could say as a female, specific to as a female artist and also yeah. just your challenges because each person's journey is different. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think, <laughs> I think my challenges right now is probably a lot of overthinking, a lot of, um, maybe sometimes second guessing myself at times, like thinking, okay, I'm, I'm going to do it. Let's draw it. Let's get into it. Let's do this work. And then finding myself not doing it, you know, because of like, mm -hmm. my mind is full or like having to find time i think I'm, I'm challenged to find and make time to create you mm. know like life gets so busy at times and sometimes insecurities can come based sorry mm -hmm. <laughs> um no we got yeah. we got so i mean would you say like okay so now that's your personal challenges so now as a like i mean of course even female tell i mean <laughs> challenges that are faced by women in the space are still specific yeah. to you so what are some of the challenges that you face as a female artist if there are any actually i think as a female artist i think our voices can be heard a bit more like, a, lot, a lot of males are dominating the space yes um, like males like i understand it's like okay put black people in the space but mm -hmm. then it's like not all, like you can't just say black men are the space <laughs> you yes. know, we, there's women as well so i think that that's probably one of the issues we may be experiencing is like i think more black women's voices need to be heard um yeah pretty much um, that would probably be the, the 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 challenging thing there are opportunities though for black women that i have been thankful to be a part of and mm -hmm. I, th th that movement is being pushed and it's going somewhere but I think more can be done especially in on the gallery mm -hmm. space side yeah definitely so now um, I just want to go back into some of your personal challenges in terms of mm -hmm. now overcoming some of things like mental ins like like not mental <laughs> insecurities but those mental barriers that you might face as an artist what do you do um how do you what are some of the techniques that you use or if any shoot prayer hey <laughs> i do i pray um i try to find a sense of like a safe space in myself like mm. to kind of allow myself to make mistakes because at the like you, I think, oh, this is a great idea. Let's go into it. Oh, how do I begin? Um, and then maybe I may lean out of it a bit. Mm. But then I, th yeah, I think it's like that confidence, even if it's like, even if it looks whack, just do it. Because you don't know mm. where it's going to go. You know, if you stop drawing for like uh, a month and then you go back, you're going to suck. It is, <laughs> oh, me. Let me not speak for everybody. Me, like I, I, all of a sudden I can't paint. I'm like, how? <laughs> You know, and it, thank you. Um, and I think, think reminding myself that I'm a human being that is going to make mistakes, that it's mm. not going to always go the way I'm thinking it's going to go. And it never really does. So I've accepted mm. that. Um, and yeah, I think, yeah, definitely prayer for like God to kind of help, 
help tame my heart because sometimes anxiety really makes your heart flutter and you're overthinking and you're stressing and it's not even that big of a deal but at that time mm-hmm. it feels really big to you so mm-hmm. yeah okay we're going to go back we're going to put a bookmark on that we're going to come back to it at a later stage of, of the interview um in okay. terms of how do you now do self care and how do you cope with anxiety in the space so also now um in terms of what are some of your career hi- highlights that you've had or experienced um um i think even though i didn't win anything it was really a great experience to enter the sasol new signatures awards i got mm. uh picked up as part of the first people but not like mm. i didn't really win anything. but it was really cool for me cuz it was like wow i i get to see everyone else's work that's around from like different points of johannesburg of mm. south africa really and yeah like seeing how people perceive different things that you may also be going through was really mm. dope for me especially mm. in a in a scholarly way what was another uh, i think was a career career high point <laughs> yes yes uh, was exhibiting at pretoria art museum then mm. there was a really great opportunity um it was the, it called the for sale exhibition and it was like a group of five of us who were all doing different work but it was my first time framing a series of works by myself mm. so that was a very like pat on the back well done moment for me uh um, mm. but yeah yeah i think those two were pretty top top day okay now like let's just go into what exhibitions are for someone who doesn't know what exhibitions are at home or doesn't know how exhibitions work to contribute um to the ecosystem of the artist yeah uh okay so as an artist <laughs> uh i you 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 make a series of works or mm-hmm. be a as a group of artists you will all have a work where you get to showcase your work in an exhibition so this is a space where your work is either hung up depending on even if you're doing performance art um mm-hmm. this is a space where people get to engage with your work and you get to mm-hmm. engage with people about your work uh and then you get to sell your work as well in the space so that's what an exhibition is yeah yes yeah. thank you for that so then no now problem. moving <laughs> now moving into what excites you about the creative space and the creative market specifically also just the fine arts um creative market yeah what excites me i think is the ability to to sell your work i think it's really i really like imagine you're sitting there you're like all these personal thoughts all these feelings everything i put down into this work someone wants to have this or own this in a sense yeah. so it's kind of like a it's like you're sharing a really deep part of yourself and it's mm. kind of someone else even what i think i enjoyed maybe not even selling but someone seeing something different in your work that you didn't mm. even see in your own work or they they have an, a different meaning of what your work of how they see your work than you do mm. then you're like oh wow i never saw this as that or this is that i'm glad you saw that in my work so i think that's what that's really exciting of like being able to spend so much time making something so special and then kind of having to let it go <laughs> yes not again then like that cycle yeah definitely that cycle <laughs> that cycle all is gets you and you're like oh, you know and yeah. it's funny it's someone else's and it belongs to someone else's home and maybe you yeah. wouldn't have hung it up like that yeah, <laughs> if no, you, you know <laughs> you know and then you're like oh my word this person has made this artwork into something yeah. else and it lives another life of its own it's quite an interesting yeah. um process you know and what is and do you is nice it, huh? sorry <laughs> you want to jump in you can jump in in there uh, i'm saying it's nice to look at someone else's work i think like when your work is up it can get a hack to it can become a lot because now you're like you know what you're going through and you did it whereas yeah. someone else you don't know their story you're kind of detached 
you just see it mm. and it looks nice. That's, mm. that's what I want to do. Okay, please continue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, with your work, who are some of your in, um artists that inspire you or influence some of your work? Okay, so her name. I'm so sorry. Like I had to write it down because mm-hmm. yeah, her name <laughs> is a tough one. She's a Nigerian artist who currently resides in LA, and she works basically. Let me say her name: Njideka Akunili Crosby. Mm-hmm. Um, she does a lot of like um, figure paintings of of black women, black men. I love how she uses pattern in her work, how she uses printmaking in her work, like how she uses mixed medium in her work as well. And mm. another artist I love is Jenny Saville, who mm. uh, she likes to layer, paint, and would leave some things undone, but some things are really well done. And her scale, her sizes are huge. So those wow. are my inspiration. Yeah, yeah. And do you have anyone that you would like to work with in the future? Or um, maybe let's say an art gallery that you would like to exhibit your work and why? I think it would be a dream to <laughs> exhibit at Zeitz Marka. Like that definitely. Dream. Definitely. Wow. <laughs> God, please hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly because I feel like, I mean, there's eight flows of art, <laughs> first of all. Wow. Yes, definitely. And then also, sorry? Yeah, I'm like, yes, oh. definitely. It's exciting to <laughs> so much <And> art. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's really inspiring like, to see even the young, like I've seen 18-year-olds and 20-year-olds work there. So, it, you know, it doesn't feel like a dream that's too far mm. that will never happen, you know. So, yeah. That's marker for sure. And then, so now we're going back to that question. I said we're going to bookmark, you know. Okay. So, cool. what are some of the tips you have for um, people who struggle with um, possibly anxiety or any kind of mental health um, self care tips? Oh, that's that's tough. To that's give tough. Advice to. Because, oh, you know, oh, oh, let's, <laughs> oh, maybe let's, I'd rather let's, say what I, I what you know, I, let's put that way. Yes, actually, I should have asked it that way. Actually, sorry, during this time, like depression, really, it's a way, hey, like you. I'm grateful for the days where it's like, yo, I'm really happy, things are going well because mm. there are days that are really low. Um, mm. I think. Writing has definitely helped me a lot. Journaling mm-hmm. has helped me a lot. Um, sometimes just putting the words into poetry yes. has helped me a lot. Like listening to a song that allows you to feel kind of like peaceful and then like just writing whatever you want to write down. Um, that's helped a lot. And then reminding myself of what actually do I, what, 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 why, what brings me joy? Like having mm. to remind myself like in this moment what would really bring me joy and if it's mm. watching series hey <laughs> it's watching series you know what i mean like, if, you, if i don't want to think about how sad i am i'll probably watch a series you know t or gray also it's kept me alive so yeah and just like my spiritual life in general like worshiping worshiping is definitely just releasing those tears you know letting god do his thing and yeah that's definitely helped me through this time. That's so beautiful to say. Um, and then because you've got such a busy schedule, like you're so busy, <laughs> what is your downtime? <laughs> what do you do for downtime? And just like, this is my time. I'm going to sit yeah. here and just have time with myself. Um, I actually just like sitting in like the dark and listening to music sometimes like on my earphones Mm -hmm. in the bed like you know before you go to bed and you're just like Mm -hmm. like you're just laying and you listen literally you're reminiscing about the good times or you're just planning ahead of like great times you wish you could have um being with friends as well amazing watching love island (laughs) oh wow 
Yeah. You I know, first person, yo, I have not. Brilliant. I watch. I watch Love Is Blind. I watch Love Is Blind. That one and, too. Yes. But at some point, like it that. became triggering. At some point, it became very triggering. Love Is Blind also got <laughs> triggering at some point, and you just start sobbing through it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah so i i have kind of just said no i won't do love island just as yet i just whoo what's up yeah. all the love yeah. show no give um, some time you know but anyways besides love is um love island what other things do you binge on when you're watching netflix Um I don't know how much my mother's on Netflix. I don't necessarily have Netflix. <laughs> But oh. I've been binging on how I met your mother. Uh mm. again. I just you you watch it, you forget, you watch it. It's just a great I like shows that make you feel like you're a part of the show. Like mm. oh, these are my friends and I sitting at the booth having a drink, you know, like <laughs> even mm. though you're at home, I like that that sense of comfort, it's like sit comfy, you know. Yeah, I think. Yeah, pretty much. That sounds like that sounds so amazing. Um. Also, just what are uh, what are some of your um go to things that you do outside? Well, before lockdown, like before okay. lockdown, what other things did you do outside the house? And you probably look forward to doing post lockdown. Um. I actually really enjoyed like going to exhibitions. I think it was a very it's always inspiring. Like you want to go home get you know let's say you see a work out of painting you're like yo I've been looking at that canvas story. I want to go home and you know cuz like it's inspiring to see other people really like put like work and and craft out there and for me scale excites me. Like if you huge artworks I'm like yo can I get <laughs> uh i well I, you can, we can still hike now which i also really enjoy hiking uh with friends is also nice um which hiking trails would you recommend i've never if i could do hike oh <laughs> lord do i know mara hey because i'm so bad at like locations my friends know i think i'll be albertina sisulu Mhm that botanical gardens there apparently has really nice hiking trails i had gone it was closed but then we went apparently they directed us to the side of the highway like there's another mountain here you can climb so we climbed that one but i think trying that one once it's opened again um i used to enjoy going to a restaurant and having brunch that is an amazing feeling now you make brunch and eat by yourself type of thing <laughs> yeah definitely i'll look out for the hiking stuff i think i'll look out for hiking post lockdown when i mean yeah. when it opened because i think yeah. a lot of people now are on some hiking tangent and i don't yes. think i'll enjoy it as much as i would like to enjoy it because it's mm. been a thing i wanted to start trying out but now everyone's on it and so it's just like ah no No girls. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> no like I know, not that I want because... not that I want anything to be sacred but sometimes you just want to have that space to that yeah. thing by yourself you for some time. time going up the mountain yeah. You know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um and I think also I like what you're saying about exhibitions because that is I kind of miss them. Although there's virtual exhibitions I really miss the life thing. Yeah, um, like walking around, walking around, having drinks. <laughs> yes, definitely. Um, the free stuff, <laughs> the yeah, free food, the free, <laughs> the free snacks, the <laughs> free everything, the <laughs> free everything. Oh, yeah. I miss that a great deal. But I think also, but what we can celebrate though about this season of being in lockdown is just time to. be with self and has yeah. that um contributed a great deal in your creative process or has it just given you a break Oof, i think not necessarily a break because self is work as well like you realize yeah. when you 
sit with those thoughts and actually go down that trail and work on things that maybe you are avoiding and no one told you that hey dude you know then you realize maybe i'm a bit like this i'm a bit like this and i have to actually work through that um mm. kind of counsel yourself like sit there in the room with god and just get counseling that that's been work but i think in a more creative space it's allowed me to be more honest on paper mm. like and mm. let the the work kind of tell me where i'm at like what's actually going on because it feels like sometimes there's a lot of thoughts happening and mm. there's a lot of stuff going on in the drawing and just letting the drawing kind of speak to me and say yo actually this is what's happening but you're going to you're going to be okay <laughs> you'll be fine like you know so definitely yeah. um beth has a comment here saying self is work is work I guess that's what he was saying. Self is work. Agree with you. <laughs> yeah. Which is true. Self-work. It's a great deal of work. I, I think I think a lot of the time we underestimate the work that we have to do on ourselves and also just around emotional governance and sometimes I I was talking saying that emotional awareness um does not necessarily mean emotional intelligence or emotional maturity. So it just means that now you have to take the steps to get to yeah. that state um and it's a lot of work um and so yeah i guess you're right in saying it's a lot of work um but also all over above that what do you want to walk to communicate to the next person i mean you it can't be specific but i'm just saying a general overview of some of the work that you've done um you maybe yeah uh, uh i want to start conversation you know i i mm. never want to work to just tell you what it's about you mm. know i want you to question things to question patriarchy to question culture mm. to yeah cuz it's i think it is lately or my last bit of works were about my umemulo and i was questioning a lot of that like who am i in the space what does it mean to be a female now turning into a woman they don't really tell you what that looks like they don't really say okay tomorrow you can now do this and now you know here's the key to life <laughs> you're like you know like how does a celebration like that how do rites of passage like make you into a woman you know like mm. what does that look like for me because everyone like every i think it's nice when in a work someone is confronting themselves like i i'd like to look at art as a place of free therapy not even mm. just artists but any creative like music you writing acting you expressing what you've gone through in a sense in this character drawing painting mm. you know um i think we're very blessed to be able to ex- express those things in that way and kind of get healing from that as well mm. like you have the question try figure it out through the work and then kind of find a sense of healing from that so yeah and then someone else can come through and like tell you what they see it as and then you start talking about patriarchy and how they see it or what they thought it was or what is a woman to them what is a black woman to them specifically mm. so yeah but i like what you're saying cuz i think also along um other interpretations of um of the work and uh, or mm. even the conversation almost um allows us to get to a different space of healing or a different space of conversation that we might not have even with the conversations that we have amongst friends or family um mm. i always like how art invites other people to have a different conversation and a different input um we have she impressions here joining us hi she impressions hey, <laughs> so yeah pleasure. thanks guys so Thank there you know. is- <laughs> <laughs> so now we are on our last two um questions. Um okay. what would you like to be remembered for? And Okay. Your legacy question and I've almost lost my <laughs> trail of thoughts there. What would you like to be known for? Okay. Um, I think I'd like to be remembered for being I guess someone who encouraged finding self <laughs> like who encouraged that specific process because sometimes like i think even with me i've always looked to other people to be like okay so when you're 24 what happens now 
what happened to you? What will happen to me? And it's like, we all have a unique path that we're mm. going to go through. <laughs> like we're all gonna have like if we could all write our bibliographies and print it and publish it it really it'd be all interesting stories you know mm. um some people are, are lucky and they want to do that and they're able to to do that but i want to like to encourage i think the even the youth to just be like yo dude your story is your own and however you go through it that's special because you had an imprint in it for yourself so i'd like to be remembered for for that for someone who really tried to encourage like self and um just like doing it like trying and failing like <laughs> mm -hmm. trying and failing and trying and failing and not being discouraged when you fail like to get mm -hmm. up again to literally dust yourself off and get up again and knowing that I think the, the beauty is in the process and having to remind myself that too, that like sometimes the process is really tiresome, but that's where the beautiful stuff happens. And you look back and you're like, wow, that was really dope then. Mm. But you didn't enjoy it then because then you were like, this is the worst, <laughs> you know? Um, and then my legacy, I think I would love, God, please, if I could be like leave a legacy of paying for for students for art students because mm. i struggled with that and shout out to nas fast <laughs> but <laughs> if i could like help students pay for their art like shoot like to go study art because that was like the best four years of one of the best four years of my life any kind of art the creatives paying for that yeah like i want to so fall so that y'all can go to school <laughs> That's so beautiful that you say that because when I, uh, I won't expose my age, when I was in varsity going years, they were not sponsoring things like art. They were not giving nephews to things like the art space or um, degrees that were in that space. They were just like, mm, you're on your own there <laughs> type of thing. So yeah, it was quite an interesting, yeah, it's interesting how expensive art school is and just buying it paintings. Is just True. buying a lot of <laughs> Fabriano guys it's hey. really really <laughs> um, no okay I, th I thought that was the last last question I'm giving you but this is the last 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 one I hope um, um, knowing what you know now what would you tell your younger self Ooh. <laughs> um, what would I tell my younger self I think I'd tell her that she shouldn't be that hard, like too hard on herself. Like I laugh because it's like my future self is going to say this to the self now, <laughs> but like to really breathe, to take time to breathe, to also to not compare herself. Like, yo, like, especially when you're broke and you're young and you're comparing yourself to people that work and are driving. How? house way right? you can't you know so to stop that thing and like really leave wanting you know okay it's loading something's happening Or any, a bit of encouragement, <laughs> you know. So, to everybody joining us and watching, um, do you have any feedback for us? Any comments that you would like to share with us right now? Um, It's quitting. Okay, it's quitted on us. Let's just give it a moment. Um, 
I'll just give it a little bit of a moment and then we can't disappear. Um, networks are always in interesting. Um, okay, she impressions. I think I will just possibly just, let's see, is she back? I don't know whether she's back on or not. Okay, I think we're just going to have to just end the conversation here. But, um, and then I'll just post the rest of if you missed part of it, um, it will be on my IGTV um, timeline. Um, thank you so much, guys, for joining us this afternoon. It's been really a pleasure talking to Jolie. Um, I'm just checking for the last time if she's back on. Oh, she is. Yeah, she's back. She's back, everybody. She's back. I'm so excited that she's back. It would have been weird to just end it off there. <clears throat> Hey. <laughs> I was just feeling some time away that you just left me, like, oh my way. No. <laughs> phone then I charge you guys. That time it's sitting on the charger. The thing wasn't on. on, the, oh, on the wall. okay. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> so I just wanted to find out um, the, question, the question that I was asking earlier was that yeah. what would you tell your younger self? And you were telling us that um, do not compare yourselves, do not yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I found that like, I used to study fashion at Lysoff, and everyone would always on fleek, the heels, the dress, the clothes, and I would have to walk up the mountain basically to get to school while people would drive past me, <laughs> holding my sewing machine, sweating, and even if I did try, it took like two hours to get to school. So when I got there, I looked like crust either way, <laughs> you know. Um, yes. And I look back at that time now and I'm like, yo, I stretched so much about like being so insecure in comparison with people that really had more money than me. And sometimes like you really need to go and be humbled in those situations. So when mm. you are, when you do or are able to afford something, you're like, yo, I'm grateful because there was a time where I really couldn't, where mm -hmm. I was eating the same thing every day. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, and that no, that's not that's not a bad thing because that's what we're doing now. We're in the house, so it's fine, you know. Um, yes. <laughs> but even if you aren't in the house and you really rock that one outfit, you know, <laughs> rock it. Mm, I have to rock it. Rock that outfit, tied up shirt, unbutton it one day, <laughs> button it the other day. Wear it upside down. Yeah. <laughs> I want to. I once wore a, a, a skirt upside down. It had two slits on the side. And everyone thought it was some line on toes. But it was a Ooh. skirt upside down. Um, so yeah, it is true. You can rock anything you need to rock. And, you know, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a notorious thrift shopper. If you've never Same. been thrift shopping, Same. come Same. come to me. I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you how to thrift shop. I'm a, I'm there for the peoples. So just, okay. yeah, it's all about rocking what you have and making it work. And I think that's a good way to, to end this conversation. Rock Thank what you, you have, <laughs> you yes. know? Yes. And um, I don't know anybody, anyone, no one has said anything. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Thank you, if everyone. Anyone, Thank you. And does sure. anyone have anything? Okay, there's nothing, guys. We love you guys. Thank you for joining us. Join me again at 7 for another one. <laughs> Who's that? Good I'm night. actually doing that. <laughs> But yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Bye. Thank you, Bumi. Bye. Thank you. Bye.